हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आज हम क्लास नाइन ज्योग्राफी के चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सी वाटर के क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करेंगे सो लेट स्टार्ट क्लास नाइन ज्योग्राफी चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सी वाटर क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स क्वेश्चन वन टिक द करेक्ट बॉक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द सलिनिटी ऑफ द ओशन वॉटर ए slanting sun rays melting snow b cloudy sky rainfall throughout the year c clear skies for the most part perpendicular sun rays d less supply of fresh water desert area around e low temperatures ample supply of river water f continental location desert around low rainfall answer a low b low c high d high e low f high question 2 give reasons 1 salinity is low in the land locked baltic sea answer 1 the baltic sea lies in the temperate region 2 in temperate regions the sun rays are slanting and therefore the temperatures are lower 3 the supply of fresh water is also more as numerous rivers empty their waters into the baltic sea 4 therefore in spite of being land locked due to low rate of evaporation and ample supply of fresh water the salinity of the baltic sea is low change the slide 2 There is higher salinity in the northern Red Sea while lower in the southern. Answer: One. The Red Sea is one of the saltiest bodies of water in the world owing to high evaporation. Two. The salinity is 36% in the southern part because of the effect of the Gulf of Aden. Three. It reaches 41% in the northern part. owing mainly to the gulf of suez and the high evaporation as well as very little precipitation for hence there is more salinity in the northern red sea while lesser in the south 3 oceans located at the same latitude do not have same salinity answer 1 the salinity of the oceans depends on factors like rate of evaporation and supply of fresh water 2 oceans where rate of evaporation is more than the supply of fresh water the salinity is higher 3 oceans where supply of fresh water exceeds the rate of evaporation salinity is low 4 salinity is not affected much in areas where supply of fresh water and evaporation of water is low 5 thus oceans located on the same latitude do not have the same salinity 4 with increasing depth the temperature of sea water decreases to a certain limit answer with increasing depth the temperature of sea water decreases to a certain limit because 1 while most of the sun rays radiate back from the surface of the sea some of them penetrate to certain depths in the water 2 as a result the intensity of sun rays decreases with the increasing depth 3 the temperature decreases up to 2000 meters depth 4 after 2000 meters the temperature of the sea water is uniform everywhere 5 There are more salt pens on the western coast of India than its eastern coast. Answer: One. The Arabian Sea lies lying to the west, and Bay of Bengal lies to the east of India. Two. Many large peninsular rivers drain their waters in the Bay of Bengal, and on the contrary, only small seasonal coastal rivers drain in the Arabian Sea. Three. Hence. The salinity of the eastern coast is 34% while it is 35% in the Arabian Sea. 4. Thus, there are more salt pens on the western coast of India than its eastern coast. 
salinity increases in the mid-latitudinal zones? Answer 1. Mid-latitudinal zones lies between 25 degrees to 35 degrees north and south of the equator. 2. In this zone, the rainfall is less and the supply of fresh water from rivers is also low. 3. This region experiences high temperature conditions which are marked by the presence of hot deserts of the world. These high temperature conditions lead to a high rate of evaporation. 4. Thus, the salinity of the seas is found to be higher in mid-latitudinal zones. Question 3. Answer the following questions. 1. What are the factors affecting the salinity of the seawater? Answer. 1. The uneven distribution of temperature on earth and uneven supply of fresh water affects the salinity of seawater. 2. In the tropical zone, temperature is higher. Rate of evaporation is also higher and therefore, the salinity is higher. 3. Around 5 degrees N and S of the equator, in the equatorial calm belt, the sky is cloudy for a long period of time and convectional rainfall occurs every day. 4. Large rivers like Congo and Amazon in the equatorial regions meet the sea. Therefore, supply of fresh water is abundant too. But because of higher temperatures, rate of evaporation is more and therefore. The seas in these areas are more saline. 5. In mid-latitudinal zones, 25 degrees to 35 degrees NNS, rainfall is lesser and the supply of fresh water from rivers is also low. This zone has the hot deserts of the world. Thus, the salinity of the seas is found to be higher here. 6. In temperate regions, the sun rays are slanting and therefore, the temperatures are lower. Because of the melting of the snow, the supply of water is also more and therefore, in this zone, salinity decreases with increasing latitudes. 7. In the polar areas, temperatures are very low. Evaporation is also very less in polar areas. So, salinity is low. 8. Landlocked seas have higher salinity than open seas as the rate of evaporation is more. There is a lack of supply of fresh water from large rivers. Thus, there is a difference in the salinities of open and closed seas. 2. Explain the distribution of salinity around the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Answer 1. The uneven distribution of temperature on Earth and uneven supply of fresh water affects the salinity of seawater. 2. Region between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is called as the tropical zone. 3. In the tropical zone, temperature is higher. 4. Hence, the rate of evaporation is also higher. And therefore, salinity is higher. 3. What are the factors affecting the temperature of the seawater? Answer 1. Temperature is a major property of the seawater. 2. Sea water up to the depth of 500 m is called as surface water. The surface temperature of the sea water is not uniform everywhere. This is dependent on different factors. 3. Latitudinally, the surface temperature of the sea water decreases from the equatorial areas towards the poles. 4. The average temperature in equatorial areas is around 25 degrees Celsius, while it is about 2 degrees Celsius near the poles. 5. Besides this, cyclones, rainfall, sea waves, ocean currents, salinity, pollution, convectional currents, 
and seasons also affect the surface temperature. Six regions where cold ocean currents flow, the surface temperature of ocean water is less, while the regions where the warm currents move, the temperature increase. Four. Explain the changes occurring in the temperature of sea water according to the depth. Answer one. While most of the sun rays radiate back from the surface of the sea, some of them penetrate to certain depths in the water. Two. As a result, the intensity of sun rays decreases with the increasing depth. Three. The temperature decreases up to two zero 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 m depth. Four. After 2000 meters, the temperature of the seawater is uniform everywhere. 5. It is around 4 degrees Celsius everywhere from the equatorial regions to the polar areas. 6. Temperature reduces only up to 4 degrees Celsius according to depth, and therefore, the water at greater depths does not freeze. 7. The temperature of the seawater changes rapidly with depth at the equatorial areas. The difference in temperature is lesser in polar areas. 8. There is also a difference in open seas and landlocked seas. In low latitudes, because the salinity of the landlocked seas is more, the temperature of the landlocked seas is higher than the open seas. 5. Name the factors affecting salinity. Answer. Due to the sun's heat, evaporation happens at a faster rate. Evaporated water turns into water vapor and reduces in quantity. But amount of salt remains the same in the remaining water and therefore the salinity of water increases. 1. In seas where the rate of evaporation is high than the supply of fresh water, Salinity is high. 2. In seas where the supply of fresh water exceeds the rate of evaporation, salinity is low. 3. Salinity is not affected much in seas where both the supply of fresh water and evaporation of water is low. Question 4. Explain how temperature affects the following. A. The density of seawater. Answer 1. If temperature reduces, density of water increases. 2. Hence, cold water is denser than hot water. B. The salinity of seawater. Answer. If the salinity of water is high, the density of water increases. Great video. Mom. Yes. I found the good channel for study. Great. Like the video. Share it to your school friends. Subscribe to it. But what's the channel's name? Wings of Fire Academy.